184 pounds, Miles Martin and Gabe Dean. We've had the hors d'oeuvres, we've had the meat and potatoes, Eric. It's cheesecake time, it's dessert here at 184 as these two national champions collide. Two-time national champion, Gabe Dean. Last two years, Eric, 77 and three. 49 of those victories with bonus points, 18 pins. Three-time All-American was third as a freshman from Lowell, Michigan. Old Michigan coached by R.J. Boudreau, many time state champion as a team. Gabe Dean, interesting fact, was also a state champion quarterback in high school as well for the Lowell Red Arrows. One thing I really appreciate about Gabe Dean is his perspective. You get a chance to talk to him. He's got, he's got things in order. Great perspective, great approach. Father Dave, NCAA runner-up for the Gophers of Minnesota back in 1987. While you're at it, first ever All-American for J-Rob was Dave Dean. Really? Good, good job. Love learning something new every night. No score, 40 seconds in. Martin, what a run. Won that title as a true freshman. For Tom Ryan and the Buckeyes, they pulled him out of red shirt. Ohio State went for it. Pulled Kyle Snyder, of course, Miles Martin. Beat Bo Nickel of Penn State 11 and nine after Nickel had beaten him three times. Again, new day, different circumstances. Good shot here from Dean. Looking for a back trip. And Martin able to free his leg and avoid giving up the takedown. Miles Martin from Penns Grove, New Jersey, but wrestled at McDonough in Owing Hills, Maryland, where he was a three-time state champion and a four-time national prep finalist. So smart as a young guy. He just gets so close to the out-of-bounds line, knew where he was, got his heel down to the mat, broke the grip of Gabe Dean, and what I saw there was him circle himself back into the center of the mat to not potentially give up a stall call. Dean likes to work off his ties. He can hand fight with the best of them. Heavy cinder block hands Gabe Dean likes to work from his ties where Martin maybe a little bit better in space relies on his quickness and athleticism. Cornell is always so solid in those upper weights. I mean, you look at them over the last five, six years. Great, great talent, those upper weights. Inside 30 seconds, similar situation. Martin able to escape once. Can he do it again? And now a cradle. Gabe Dean has a cradle. But look at Martin. And they Unbelievable. They gave the two. So curious to see if they'll review this. Stalemate whistled four seconds. In the corner of Ohio State not saying anything, so they're not gonna challenge it. So Dean a takedown in short time. We need to make you shirts, short time shirts. I wish I had the analytics. I mean, I, I love analytics. And again, you know, what do they mean? I mean, I don't know, <laughs> but there you see Damian Hahn and Mike Gray. Dean starting period on bottom, works to his feet. Martin has him at the edge. Martin gets an ankle. Tervel Delagniv on the coaching staff now for Tom Ryan and the Buckeyes. I believe that is Bo Jordan, ranked number one in the country now at 174 pounds after bumping up from 165, where he was a two time All American for the Ohio State. There's an escape by Dean. Leads it 3 0, now 30 seconds 
into this second period. So one wrong turn for Miles Martin is all it is. They, they, instead of turning away from the single, he turned into it, and Gabe Dean caught that head, got the cradle, and picked up the two. Again, Dean with that single leg, this time able to get the back trip and cover for the parity, leads it five to zero. A lot of pressure on top, has a wrist riding on Miles' left side. Believe he's gonna get that wrist into a hammerlock position. Hook on the right side. Good position here for Dean, right on the edge. You're building your riding time. If you're Martin here, of course, you wanna find a way to get out of bounds, get a restart. Easier said than done when you're being blanketed by a two-time national champion. And it's crazy, the development of Gabe Dean once he got to Cornell. He didn't even win a uh, state title his senior year. Comes to Cornell, and it will go down in Cornell. It's hard to say as one of the best ever at Cornell with Kyle Dake being there, but well, Gabe still go down as one of the best. You win three national titles, you're in the conversation. I mean, the best is going to be right. Dake but he's had a great career. And the second period sees its conclusion. Been all Gabe Dean, he takes a five nothing advantage to the third. We've talked about when guys get put on the map and Gabe Dean when he was a freshman, when he beat Ed Ruth. That was his coming out party. If you didn't know about him heading into that, you knew about him after the win against Ruth. That'll make you a household name real quick. Believe Ed Ruth fought last night. He did. In Bellator. Tyrell Fortune as well. Both victorious. Here we go again. Gabe Dean had a single leg. That time defended by Martin, five to one. A go behind from Dean, make it seven to one. Fifty-first NWCA All-Star Classic here on TrackWrestling.com. Been a phenomenal night. Some great matches. A lot of tight ones. setting the stage for the 2016-2017 campaign. Gabe Dean is not letting up here. He has a minute left and he's gonna put points on the board for the remaining 61 seconds. It's statement time, no doubt about it. You wanna remind Miles Martin if you're Gabe Dean, listen, I own this weight class. Don't even think about it. 12 to three with another snap down spin behind for Gabe Dean. Of course, early November, a little foot sweep there from Dean. A lot can change as we know. But really impressed, can't say I'm surprised with the effort Gabe Dean's put out tonight. Just stalking him. Like a rabid dog, meat on the bone. <laughs> Getting himself into tr some trouble here, hitting the high crotch. Miles Martin looking to sit the corner. Now Gabe Dean comes up through the middle, picks his side. And he's going to pick up one more takedown. He'll get the riding time, a major decision for Gabe Dean of Cornell, 13-4. For the big red senior gunning for his third national title. 